Hi, fourth grade artists. So today we're gonna to be starting to make our tiny little houses. I'm changing the shape and you're welcome to do that too on the top part. I wanted to make my shape of my house actually look like the shape of my house that I live in. Next, I'm going to cut out my pieces. Now, one of those it is going to be used for the side and the other one is going to be used for the bottom. Um, you're gonna have to create two sides though too, but you can just reuse one of those rectangles to do that. Okay, so I'm cutting out the house part now. Next, I'm gonna lay out my slab and I'm going to trace around these pieces. Make sure when you put your slab down that you put your paper right in the corner so that you don't have to roll out very much of another slab. Okay, you don't put your house right in the middle because then you won't be able to fit all your pieces. So I'm taking a pencil or you could use a butter knife to trace around your paper. Remember to put it in the corner. Now I have enough space to trace this one around. And then I'm also going to put my other piece in the top corner and trace around that one too. Next, I'm gonna take my clay tool or a butter knife, like I said, and actually carve these pieces out of my clay slab. that I'm going to do something called scoring where I rough up the surface of my clay and then I'm going to create my slip so I asked you to get a plastic cup um, and put some water in it and then you're gonna take a small piece of clay and add it to the water to make some um, almost like clay glue that's called slip then I'm going to press my pieces together and rub that slip together I'm also going to take a coil and press that coil into the crack so that my house is really, really sturdy and doesn't fall apart. I'm also gonna pick it up and rub the bottom crease together as well and make sure that those two pieces have now become one by using my slipping and scoring method. Next, I'm gonna have to create another side. So I had a little bit left over of my clay and I'm just going to try and squish it with my hand. You have a rolling pin or something to flatten it out to get those two sides to be about the same size. So I'm trying to make sure that they're the same size by pin using my pinching method. Um, and they don't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to make sure I have two slabs to close up those sides. So next I'm going to do that same slipping and scoring technique and add my two sides to my house. You can see there is a gap um, on the side of my house and the back of my house. That's okay because I can create a coil and stick those two pieces together. So make sure that the side wall lines up with your floor rather than lining up with the back wall because you can always create a coil and fill in that space. I'm gonna carefully pick it up and add that coil like I talked about that extra clay and score it. So I'm scratching up the surface. Then I'm adding my slip because everything you attach, you have to, have to, have to slip and score. Otherwise it will not stick together. It'll stick together now, but once it dries out, it will fall right off. So everything must be slipped and scored and kind of rubbed together with your finger to make it become one piece. 
I'm gonna take that last side that I created out of my scraps um, with that slab and I'm going to put that last side on as well. Next, I found just some junk that I had in my classroom to create different textures and tools that I can use. Look around your house. I'm sure there's different things that you can find. I don't even know what this thing is that I'm using right now. I don't know what it originally was, but I'm using it to make bricks on the side of my house. I didn't finish that because I thought you got the idea of it. I could always go bad, back and add that later. I'm using the side of a cookie cutter that I had and pressing that in to create some interesting flooring. Rather than just having that smooth texture, I wanna try and change it up. Um, I'm using this tool. You could use a comb and wash it out. All the things you can use at home, you just wash off the clay, it'll be good as new. So it'll be fine to use it as long as mom, dad, grandma, or grandpa are okay with it. I'm gonna use a butter knife to create a window. I'm, for my tiny house, I'm thinking about things that I like um, and kind of creating my dream room. So for mine, I love the outdoors, so I wanted to make sure my back um, part had a window. I could actually carve out those little window, window pieces so you can see through your house. That is an option to do that. You can definitely carve out pieces. Um, but I decided to use a pen cap actually to just um, press into my clay to indent it so that I had that cool texture and almost like a drawing of the window instead. I have another um, little tool that I found that had some bubbles on it. So I decided to make some polka dotted curtains because I do like polka dots. So I'm just taking, forming another slab and pressing it into it. And now I'm going to cut them to fit that wall a little bit better. So I'm using tools to do that as well. starting to create some tiny furniture. Um, I'm going to create a couch because that is the place where my family likes to hang out when we're relaxing for some family time um, after dinner. So I'm going to create my couch and I'm also later I'll probably add my dog onto the couch. He's a big dog. His name is Bernie and he likes to sleep on the couch which is a bad habit but that is where he likes to be because we like him around us too so it works out. 
So I'm gonna add my couch and slip and score all those pieces together using my fingers to pinch and add different pieces together. If you want to be able to rearrange things in your room, don't slip and score it on, just have your couch loose. But I want mine to be all stuck together in one solid play piece. So I am gonna slip and score my couch onto the side so that it stays and doesn't move around. But that choice is yours. adding a little cozy rug and I'm also adding a plant because I love to have plants in my house. Other things that I might add is maybe I'll add a coffee table later and I could add a little painting on it because I love to paint or some books because I also love to read. I could put a TV on the wall if I wanted to. I can create this space at create as much stuff on the space as I want to. And I want you to really express yourself so I can learn more about you. Maybe you like basketball. Maybe you'll add a basketball hoop and have a basketball sitting in the corner. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Maybe you don't want to do a living room. Maybe you want to make a bedroom or a bathroom or some other room in your house. That is your choice. Maybe you love to cook and you want to make a kitchen. I can't wait to see what you create. quite done, but have fun fourth grade artists. You are going to finish your clay house. 